In this session, let us learn about data types and reserved words. Data that we use is stored in the memory. It can be of many types. For example, Python numbers can store only numeric values and strings can take letters or alphabets. Some of the standard data types that we use in Python are number, string, list, tuple and dictionary. Let us learn them one by one. The number data type, as I said, stores numeric values. Python supports three number data types namely int, float and complex. Now let us type some numbers and see how Python interprets it. I am assigning a value 10 to the variable x and check the data type using the type function. Upon running this code, it identifies this to be an integer. Next. I am going to assign the value 11.5 to a variable y and use the type function again. Now when I run this, Python rightly identifies this to be a float. I am going to take the value 10j and assign it to the variable z. When I apply the type function on z, and run this code, Python identifies this data type to be complex. The next standard data type that we are going to learn is the string data type. A string is a continuous set of characters represented in a single or double quotes. Let me take a name and see how Python interprets this. I'm going to apply the same type function on this and run it to check. See, Python identifies this to be a string. Moving ahead, let us learn lists. A list is an ordered collection of items of different data types enclosed in square brackets and separated by commas. I'm creating a na list named my list with elements which are a string, integer, float and complex. So my list is going to have mixed data types as you see. Let me print this list and let me check the type of this. Now when I am going to run this program, I see the list getting printed and Python rightly identifying the type of this data type which is the list. The next data type that we will be learning is a tuple. A tuple is a sequence of items separated by comma and enclosed in a parenthesis. Unlike lists, we cannot change the items in the sequence or the size of the tuple. I define a tuple called my tuple with five elements, I suppose. Now I am using the type function to see how Python is going to interpret this variable my tuple. See, it identifies this to be a tuple data type. Now let us learn an interesting data type called dictionary. A dictionary is an unordered set of comma-separated key-value pairs enclosed in floral bracket. Let us take an example and understand dictionary better. So I am assuming that there is a department which is going to take multiple key-value pairs. When I say key value pairs, I define the key and the corresponding value. Suppose I want to refer A for sales department. So my key is A and value is sales. So this is one key value pair. I am taking another department to identify B which could be the marketing department. Now I can take the third key value pair. Finance, which could be identified just by giving the letter C. 
Now note you can use either single quotes or double quotes for these characters. Both are accepted in Python. Now I am going to print a particular key and check if the corresponding value is going to get printed. So if I print department and pass the key B, let me run this, it will show an error saying B is not defined because B is not enclosed in quotes. Upon enclosing it in quotes and running the program, it will give me the right answer which is marketing. Now let me check with the other values. Suppose C, it is going to give finance and if I pass A, it is going to give the value sales. Now let me check the type of this variable department. Python rightly identifies this to be a dictionary. Now let me convert this cell to be a text and add some words. Now these words are the keywords or reserved words in Python. Remember, we cannot use these reserved words for defining a variable or a function name. If we try to do it, we will get an error. Suppose I use the word elif and assign it to the value yes and try to print it. Now this will throw a syntax error because we are trying to make use of a keyword or a reserved word. Now when I replace elif with x, this program runs perfectly fine. So we need to keep certain things in mind while giving the names of the variable. Like for a name should never begin with a number. So the first character of any variable can only be a letter or an underscore sign. Let us check this. Now if I try to give number as the first letter, it is going to give me an error. But if I use underscore sign, then this is going to work fine. See? Let me try to give any character other than the underscore. Suppose at the rate. Now this is going to again give me an error. I hope you have understood the use of data types and reserved words in this session. Thank you.